Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Danny Watt and today's video is going to be answering your assumptions about me. I thought it would be super fun and just something a little bit more interesting than a standard Q&A for you guys to get to know me a little better. So last night I jumped on my Instagram account, I know a few of you guys are following me on there. If you're not already you totally should be, I'll leave it on the screen here, it's just Danny Watt and then an underscore. I'd love to connect with you guys on there so make sure you're following me so anyway last night I put out a post um, just one of those questions where you can reply to them on stories so I put out one saying tell me your assumptions about me and today what we're gonna do is just go through a few of the ones that I got and hopefully you guys will get to know me a little bit more and if you do enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content uh, anyway, let's get into it. If I'm looking down at my phone at all, it's just because I'm looking at the assumptions. And if you guys have anything that you would like me to film, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to film it. Okay, so one of the first ones that I got is an assumption that says you want to be a hippie. Now I'm not going to lie, that lifestyle is somewhat appealing to me. I don't mean the drugs and not showering and that kind of thing. But I know that I am, or not just me, but no one is really born to sit at a desk and do a 9 to 5 job. So I know that's not what I want to do. I've got a lot of goals and things that I'm really excited for this year. So I guess I would say that I'm someone who's very driven. I've never really felt the need to follow the same path as anyone else and I am very much interested in I wouldn't say like a super unco unconventional lifestyle but it is one of my dreams to buy or rent a van and travel around Australia with my boyfriend not just as a little holiday but actually do the hashtag van life live in a van for maybe like half a year and just travel and work on the road film YouTube videos I think it would be so so epic so I would say I don't want to be a hippie as such but I do want to travel the world in a less conventional way I definitely want to put more focus on sustainability and where I source all my clothing and goods from and try to do that as sustainably as possible um, I also do want to eat a vegan diet and live that lifestyle and get more in touch with nature I'd love to raise some cute little vegan kids somewhere um, and even in like a jungle in Hawaii or just by the beaches and live a life that isn't filled with them just going on iPads all day and that kind of thing and just really being in touch with the outdoors and how beautiful this world is so if you consider that wanting me to be happy then um yeah I guess a little bit the next assumption that I got was that I am a really hard-working person and I love to travel yes that is True, I would say. Thank you for that. It's nice that you assumed I was going to be hardworking. Um, yeah, I would like to think so. I just started a new job as um, an event coordinator at the moment and I'm super stoked on that. So really excited to do well in that job, work super hard and keep on traveling. The next assumption that I got was that I am really smart. I don't really think I'm super crazy smart or anything like that. I think this just comes back to the last assumption in terms of the fact that I do work very hard for things. So I have done some pretty crazy stuff that a lot of other people haven't done, like I um, lived in LA and got scholarships to do that and that kind of thing. I don't think that was from being smarter than anyone else. I think it was just from showing that I have a lot of drive and passion and I'm willing to do whatever it takes, which I think are qualities that you need or that have come in very useful in life for sure. Another assumption that I got is that I am rich. No, honey, LA has me, has me broke. LA stripped me of everything. Um, that place was very expensive to live in. So, uh, no, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not rich. I'm not actually the best with money, although I am trying to be better with money. I like to get quite creative when I travel and find cheaper ways of doing things. 
Um, so one of those being woofing, which is one of the coolest things I've done ever. I really want to go and do woofing in Hawaii. And basically that's just a super cheap way to travel. You work for a farm, for an organic farm, and then in exchange for your hours, you get free food and accommodation off the land. So yeah, I think anyone can travel. It's just about getting creative. And um, yeah, I'm definitely not that rich. Maybe it looks like I am since I kind of have been traveling a lot. Um, but no, this year is the year of saving money for sure. Okay, this next assumption is that I do drugs. I don't know where this one came from, why you thought that. But no, I have actually never really taken any kind of hard drugs or anything like that at all. This next assumption just says, I think your voice has changed. I don't know, I don't think so. Some people have been telling me that my accent has changed since I have been living in Los Angeles. I really do not think it has. Uh, let me know if you've been following me for a while. I'm not too sure, I think I sound the same, but anyway. This next one says, you miss America and want to go back. Honestly, yes and no. I absolutely love America so much. If you don't know, um, I have moved back to New Zealand now. I haven't really done a proper video on it, so I've got a couple more LA vids that are gonna be going up, so it might be a little confusing because I'm kind of in both countries. But yes, for now I have come back to New Zealand but I very, very much miss my friends there. I had some amazing friendships that I really don't want to let go of. So I really hope I can stay friends with those people and that some of my American friends will one day come over to visit. Um, whether I'm living in New Zealand or Australia, I think that would be amazing. Uh, but for now, I don't think LA is the place I'm supposed to be and I'm really happy with where I'm at so all is good. So with these assumptions I really thought you guys were gonna go hard and be a little mean and assume like oh you're so bitchy or something like that but honestly everyone has really for the most part been very very nice so thank you guys for that. Uh, I got one from my friend saying you are the kindest soul and a natural beauty. Oh that's so sweet. I miss you. Hope to catch up when I'm in Auckland next. I don't know if this is an assumption, but someone told me I look like a blonde Emily Blunt. Uh, here's a picture of her. I don't know if I look like that, maybe a tiny bit. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I don't know who my celebrity lookalikes are. Some people say that I look like Perry Edwards and I can kind of see that a little bit, I think. I don't know. And then uh, people have also said that I look like the girl from Fifty Shades of Grey. But I don't really see that one as much. I don't know. The next assumption I got is that I am a freak in the sheets. Yeah, baby, you totally got me. That's 100% who I am. Uh, yeah, um, how did you know? You are super confident in real life. No, I am definitely not super confident, although I would say I've come a very far way. Back in like the high school days, I did used to be very shy and honestly did really lack self-confidence but since then I've grown so much as a person I think what it mainly comes down to is that I don't care anymore I mean obviously you know even though when people say oh I don't even care what anyone thinks about you I mean it's human nature to care it would be weird if you didn't care at all so I still have like a little bit that does care but I've really let go of a lot of that and you can really make your life whatever it is that you want it to be and what I try to do now is really you know life's too short so only only surround yourself with people who truly lift you up and inspire you and really just make you feel your best and give you that self-confidence. I mean, I know there's shitty people in high school and sometimes even uni. Once you get past those stages of your life, you are in complete control. You get to pick who you surround yourself with for the most part. So I would say if you're lacking self-confidence, just make sure you have a good support system, um, cut people out of your life if they're not good friends or if they're not good for you. Just have people around you that lift you up and make you feel good and then you will. Just remember that self-confidence is 
it's kind of all in your head like you really can decide to just start the day with a great attitude and be like look nothing's gonna get in my way I'm super confident I'm an amazing person and I can do whatever it is that I set my mind to I also like to check in with myself every so often and ask myself am I doing this for others am I doing things to please others am I getting sucked into the trap of thinking I have to be like everyone else I have to wear a ton of makeup I have to look a certain way or am I living my life for me and if you live your life for yourself and only do things because you genuinely really want to do them then I think that will give you a lot more self-confidence because you're staying true and genuine to yourself and by sticking to your values and what you believe in that's going to make you feel good so prioritize yourself as number one do not worry about anyone else because you and your own mental health and happiness always comes first this next one says that you live a perfect life and are never truly vulnerable so i totally do not live a perfect life i get i think we all get stuck in that trap of you know scrolling through instagram and just thinking oh it all looks so great why isn't my life like that why aren't i doing these things but honestly that's only a tiny snippet of what goes on it's all edited it's all made to look amazing but in reality no one has the perfect life at all and if you're someone that's like not you know just traveling the world and living it up 24 7 and going to all these crazy parties and doing all this stuff and swimming over in Bora Bora and blue ass water just know that that's okay and that doesn't mean you're doing shit if you are working hard if you're going to school and getting a degree if you're like saving up money to buy a house like that shit is really really cool and that also matters not just the people who appear to be living this super lavish lifestyle so I just want you to remember that you are doing well you know just give yourself a little pat on the back, a little bit of credit, uh, because it doesn't matter if your Instagram feed looks on point or not, half of it's just fake anyway, so what you're doing in real life is truly what matters. Oh, and in terms of never really being vulnerable, I would say my move to Los Angeles did make me very vulnerable in terms of a lot of things, um, you know, having to go across the other side of the world and make a whole new group of friends. I really had to put myself out there for that. Also getting there and having to have random roommates in two different housing situations in LA. That was pretty terrifying. One worked out very well, the other she was a little crazy, um, but yeah. Sometimes you've just got to give it a go, put yourself out there, it doesn't always go perfectly and it is scary to try new things and put yourself in a situation where you've got no one, you've got no friends and family and you just kind of have to make it on your own but I think those can also be the best of times because you learn so much about yourself and realize that you can literally do anything. Okay and the last assumption I'm gonna read out is you are living the dream. Hmm, am I living the dream? I would say I have a really good life and I am constantly working towards what my ideal dream life looks like and at the moment my biggest goal is to save money, travel, I want to go and volunteer in Bali with the sea turtles and help the marine life and then like I mentioned before I want to live in a van with my partner and travel around Australia. Oh, and also can't forget Hawaii. I want to go do woofing in Hawaii. Um, so I think if all of that, if I can make that come true, that sounds like a pretty cool dream life to me. But I think what I have to remember and often struggle with is that it's not always about the future. We've got to try to live the dream life or our best life that we can in the current moment because I'm always thinking like, oh, it'll be so cool when I get to do this, but I'm trying to work on being happy and content and feeling like I'm living the best life I can right in the moment now, even though everything's not perfect and you know, um, but it is still pretty great we just need to remind ourselves of that and how good we really are doing and how good we've got it so yeah how yeah living the dream life so 
Anyway, I, that's about the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed me answering these assumptions. I think I'm going to do another Q&A thing uh, type video in a little bit. But that's all for now. So give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Had fun filming this one for sure. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys. Bye.